Remote back vacuum loaders work in a similar way as a vacuum cleaner in your home. A vacuum is drawn on the top of the chamber, which sucks up coffee through a hose into the chamber. There is a valve at the bottom of the chamber, which allows the coffee to empty into the hopper below. That is how you can suck up coffee from floor level to the top of your roaster or hopper. The valve on the bottom of the chamber is especially important. When the vacuum comes on, the plate will be sucked up to seal the chamber. It will open and let the coffee fall out once the vacuum is off. When the plate is open the magnet is away from the magnet switch. Once the coffee flows down the hopper, the valve comes back up near the switch, starting the load cycle again. The loader will keep the hopper full automatically. The vacuum is floor-mounted for easy access. It is designed to be installed in a home, so it is incredibly quiet. The filter is three times larger than most loaders, which requires less cleaning and extends the life of the motor. After each load, a burst of compressed air is used to reverse the airflow. That will clean the filter and help empty the chamber. There is a slot on the blow tube. It is open to slow the loading speed and close to speed it up. Slower conveying speeds are used when loading roasted beans to avoid breaking beans. You will find CR codes on many parts as you install and operate your loader. By scanning the code, you will have access to videos and documents on your phone or computer. That is a big help when you install and adjust those components. Be sure to watch the installation video for the type of loader you are installing.